Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Jadwin, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 1 of Vulcanoids. If you happen to be new to my channel, please punch that subscribe button and, and help my channel grow. I'd appreciate it. And, of course, tap that like button. Leave me comments, good or bad. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Now, Vulcanoids is still in closed access. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some checking and find out when. I'll let you know on Episode 2 when it looks like it's going to become available. But I, I've i had so much fun with this game. I st planned on streaming it for about an hour or two hours a week before last. And I played this game for seven hours. I had so much fun. The developers have already improved the game. We're in version 1.13.85. And there is so much content to this game for a pre-alpha. Not even released yet. And there's a lot of content. So when they release this game, it's going to be a lot of content to play. So in my opinion, right now at pre-alpha, it is a game. If you like playing pre-alpha games that are going to change and be as development goes on, then this is a game to get. So I'm going to pause right here, get started in the game, and I'll bring you right back in. Okay, we are in. So first thing we need to do is talk to the captain. And he's going to give us a quest to prep to get to leave the sub first, which is all part of the prep to get our own drill ship. Now the developers have put a new fangled idea into the game. They made the capability of us uploading in a certain area on our computer, putting a file that this game pulls from. And I've got my logo on the game, on my ship, or at least on the drill ship. It will be on the drill ship, and it appears in various places, like the single panel right there. So you can put your logo all over the place. So first thing we have to do is go, it tells us to press number two, so that gets our pickaxe. So the quest, is a guide, the quest basically is a guide to help you learn the game. After playing seven hours, I know the game pretty good. I don't quite remember my way around the sub that well. But I wasn't not doing too bad. Because once you get in your old drill ship, you pretty much never come back to the sub. So once you get coal, you'll find coal near the beaches. Some of it up on the hills, but most of it, a lot of it down on the beach. And we just want two stacks of coal. That'll give us more than enough to get started. You need the coal because that's your power. This goes into your generator and creates the power you need to do stuff. So, look at that, only two stacks, so we're going to drop that. And then it wants us to get the copper. Now, I'll take three stacks of copper. One of the things I learned in my stream is I'm a hoarder, <laughs> and I got way too much materials to start with. And I had a lot of storage issues. Yeah, we don't need much off of this one. So we'll get a little bit. Two hits ought to do it. Exactly. Okay. Oh, I want three on this one. That's right. And we're one short. That's all right. We'll just get one hit off of here. Dump the rest. So, this is a side trip. We're going to go kill us some Vulcanoids. And they're dropping a lot more stuff than they used to. They used to drop plates and screws and whatnot. Oh, taking on that many is a little rough. 
Because they shoot good. They don't miss. Chest. <laughs> Map stand. Unfortunately, these don't stack. And I got one more I killed. So I'd rather have the pipes and then a work table. Well, I can't collect it all. I only have so much storage space. So we're done. We're healed back up. Press the two key. It wants us to get out of that. Now it's telling us to go back to the submarine. We got six minutes before the before the eruption, so the you have your time criticals of between eruptions. That's the only time you can be on the surface, and you've got to be below the surface. The submarine will stay here. That's not a problem. But when you get your drill ship, you have to be underground when it comes to the eruption, or you or you you lose you lose your drill ship. Yeah, this can be a little awkward at times to get into, but that's all right. So it wants us to go to our storage unit, which is right there. No, nope. right there. So we need to deploy the storage unit. And that opens it up for everything. And then put these items in it. We're going to go to the store this here, and we're going to put these items in it. Because as part of the quest, we're going to have to make nuts and bolts and stuff. So we can go to L, bring up our quest menu. So it wants us to deploy. And the power module is in the ceiling. Now it wants us to refine copper. So our refinery is right here. Might as well refine it all. Let it do its business. Now it wants us to make We've already done it, so it wants us to make two screws. These are components. One, two, two copper pipes. One, two, and four. Okay, now it wants us to produce, upgrade ship's core, produce that. And now we want to use consumables to produce two of these. Now it wants us to do modules, produce a refinery, and then produce a production module and a refinery module. So we can hit enter to bring, get rid of that. Now it wants us to close everything. So we need to shut everything down. Also, these units are using power. Uh, production refinery. Deploy my storage module. I'll do that. Okay, it wants me to get my stuff. And then talk to the captain. It wants us to claim our drill ship. 
Now we have two minutes for it to come up to the surface. Now we need to hide from the eruption. So it's not going to, it'll, so we deploy this. We got to bring that back in. So what they're talking about is power is here. Okay. The more stuff you have deployed, like the production module, the refinery module, your storage module, all that stuff eats up power. And your coal and that right there, energy module, produce power. And you basically have one of these same things here. Now he controls the ship, so we have no control. So I'll show you the map. We're right here, starting point, that copper-looking copper thing right there. And this shows all the places you've been. In my stream, I made it into Area 2. So you can check my stream out. It's on my YouTube channel. So we got 59 seconds. I will show you. So you can actually you can look at the periscope. You can look all the way around. You can check things out. And you can back out of the periscope. So I will. So now it's telling us wait until the eruption's over. Use the periscope to see what is happening on the surface. Wait inside the submarine until the eruption is over. Use the periscope. Okay. We're doing that. I'll let you watch the eruption. It's pretty spectacular in my eyes, I think. Okay, now we can back out of that. Now we can go. So it says, drill ship is surfacing. I have only one thing in my inventory left. Okay, that's not the one I put things in. This is. So in my inventory, I've got a storage locker, which I'll take with me. We'll take what pipe and what plates we got. We'll take, we'll come back for the rest of it, but that'll give us a good start up there. So our drill ship should be surfacing. So we can press L. You have received the address call of a heavily damaged drill ship. So be surface close to your location. Use this to your advantage and claim the drill ship. Ah, ship. It's showing on our HUD. There might be some... Oh, I'm calling them Vulcanoids. Might be some mechanical beings around. And there's a destroyed drill ship. But that's not the one we're supposed to get, I don't think, because it's telling us to go over here. So I don't know how long this is going to take. Some things have changed. So I'm going to pause the game until the drill ship shows back up. Okay, here comes our drill ship. So claim the drill ship. Walk into the drill ship. The core slot is a rounded object on the wall. Now that happens to be the core slot. Look at the slot and press the left mouse button or the E.
I got the core on me. Okay, we got that. Contact the captain through the radio. Okay, the radio is oh, right there. Repair the drill ship, accept the quest. So equip my wrench. Fix the drill ship wall. Breach replacement. Is that the wall or, or is that a door? Place a production module and a refinery. Okay. That'll do for now for that guy. Get it out of our way. First, gather materials and press the key two to equip the axe. Well, we know about that, but we got some materials. And the storage module, I think, is upstairs. Deploy the power module. Produce breach replacements five. Okay, produce one door replacement, and that will be from the modules tab. So there's a door. Okay, get the items out of my storage. I don't like it. Oh, my storage is right there. I can get access to it here. That's right. I got to remember that. So we need these back. And then I need to equip my wrench. The question is, where do I want, well, my door, I got no choice. It's going right here. Okay, replace the breach ceiling. Okay, so there's some breach ceilings up here. And we're going to put a door in that one and replace that. Okay. So we can press one to get that out of our hands. The storage module on the side of the ship is damaged. Produce, use a repair kit. Okay, we can do that. Well, I don't think I have a repair kit. Yeah, I do. And I had some pretty good size, a good bit of breach repair. So we can go out our door. Our storage module is on the other side. There's our storage module. It has 78%. So we just left click and hold on. And our repair kit is repairing. Contact the captain again. 
So it's showing you how the quests are designed right now to show you how to do what you need to do. Okay. Not a big ship. Storage module and power plant. So build a storage module. Okay. So it wants us to build this travel to a new new location. Well, one of the things we need to do, remember I told you, these things eat up our power. You can see right here, that had our balance on it. We're not producing a lot. So if I open up the production module alone, it, it's, it's eating two per, minus two per second. We're not producing enough. So we need to go in here, like it said. That's the refinery. I don't want to do that. Coal power plant. We got enough materials to do that. We can pick it up in our storage. And we can equip our wrench. We have one sitting there, so now we're going to put one here. Now remember, we have only one module open. Now we're producing more. So what I can do is we can actually make another one. And we have one more ceiling slot. And for now, we will actually use it. That will give us three. We have a work table up here. We have the equivalent of our energy thing up here again. A window right there. And your modules go too high. You can put floors in or you don't have to when you, when you expand. So with three coal plants, we're running on the average plus three. This is our control. So we want to go to the map. So what would be interesting to get, remember that I told you there's a legend up here. So we can press E to bring up the map. So we can try 7 and go for research technology. Use the target selector to select a new location. Click on it. Buttons, upper, okay. So we can try 7. So what you do here is you go here, target location, oh, I'm trying to remember how to do this. I got to have that out of my hand. So what this is asking is what, if we want to be underground, we want to surface when we actually get there, or do we want to stay on the ground? So we want to, we're looking at going to seven, so we can click seven. I go back to the map, I can double check that green is at 7, then we will click go. And everything will close up, I hope. Oh, we were on an auto save. Oh, I forgot, we got to hit travel. And then it shows our little bitty drill ship packing up. Look at the back of my drill ship as it turns. And you're going to see my logo on the back of the ship. Cool. I love it. So as you travel, I was curious. Okay, they did, they're not showing us making our travel. I was hoping they would add that little 
thing go across and show us. Now here's the good part. The ship starts twisting and turning. And now we're going to come up, we're going to pop the surface, but we're going to have to go down and get rid of the, get away from the, um, I seen them. four of them. Now we got a little bit of time. We got enough time to at least collect what they give us. With all the things they're dropping, I'm going to have lots of issues. God, I'm not going to need to mine any copper, am I? And that's technology. Hit that, and we get the technology. So we need to go back to our drill ship, and we need to get underground. We've already got our warning. The good part about the drill ship is all you have to do is get to here and click go down. At least it's supposed to work. Yep, I hit the wrong button. I was going up. And then your ship will pack up. We got the technology and down it will go. And then we'll have the eruption. And as you can see, it's it's tilting because we're we're actually do, we're down four meters, and then you can stay down here. You can sort out your inventory. You can do, but you cannot produce anything serious. Like I can come up here, and I can. This is not connected to our storage module, so we can produce screws and whatnot. A little bit of stuff, tools, some ammo, but you have to have these, you can have these materials and then a little bit of structure, it looks like. But we have no power and you can't deploy them on. Now, if you look at our walls, we have the spot to do a couple of things, and that's it, until we're ready to expand. So what you can do is you can come back here. You want to work on your ship, and you got things you want to do, you can make this. We can go back to here, and we check our map out. We can come back to one or two, which are safe spots. So we can go back to two, we can travel, and when we get there, we'll surface. But it's a fairly safe area. The, the mechanoids or vulcanoids, whatever you want to call them, I have to find out exactly, will stay where we found them, where I went and took you where the lava was at. And you can come here, deploy your units, do your repairs, craft your next materials, stuff like that it wants us to go to location too so we'll do that 
So let's, let's do that. It's a different location than where we're at right now. We haven't been there. If the ship doesn't go up, that means there's an enemy drill ship there. So we're traveling to two. Drill ship is surfacing. So we're good to go. There's no enemy there. Well, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I will be doing a series on this as long as until basically I have to restart. When they do enough updates to it that causes issues for the current game, then I'll restart it. So there'll be an episode a week at least. Maybe a little more. I do have fun playing it. So I might get more than one a week. I might not. So again, if you happen to be new to my channel, please help my channel grow by subscribing. I'd appreciate it. And of course, tap that like button. Leave me comments, good or bad. I'd love to hear what you have to say. You have a great day and goodbye.